Eric Ten Hag will get something unexpected with his Manchester United preseason squad. We have a strong first-team squad, which includes players that can present themselves to the fans, said Eric Ten Hag about this summer's preseason plans. Before the end of last season, Manchester United's club media spoke to Ten Hag about this summer, and he continued, but especially to us. They have the levels to play in our team for next season. There will be a mix, with experienced players together with some young players. As strong as possible but, of course, the players who go far in the Copa America and the Euros will not be involved. Preseason is about preparing for the season. We have to make that our next step. It is one of the only times when you have the team together and you can work in training on structures, the way of play, but also on certain standards around the team and that's very important to take this period and use it effectively. We will bring players like Kabi Mainu, who was very unknown by that time, and now everyone knows him. So if you want to have the first glimpse of players, maybe new players or young players who are coming up through the academy, then this is your opportunity. Mainu was the breakout star of preseason and the men exclusively revealed he would be part of the first team squad in 2023-24 before he traveled on the United States tour. Youngsters from the academy will always be part of United's preseason friendlies, particularly the first few games, and they are an opportunity to impress the manager, but the squad will be stronger than expected due to a few senior players missing out on international duty. Andre Onana, Victor Lindelof, Harry Maguire, Tyrell Malaysia, Aaron Wan-Bissaka, Johnny Evans, Mason Mount, Marcus Rashford, Ahmad and Anthony are the 10 senior players who aren't on international duty this summer and will report for preseason at the earliest date. United are expected to start preseason at Carrington in the first week of July and routine fitness tests will be completed to gauge where the players' bodies are. The preseason friendlies will begin on July 15 with a trip to Trondheim in Norway where United will play against Rosenborg in front of their huge Scandinavian support. Another trip to Murrayfield, United played there last summer. In Edinburgh, Scotland will come next on July 20th and Rangers will play United for the first time since 2010. After that, United will fly to the States and will play Arsenal in Los Angeles on July 28, which will be followed by a clash against Real Biddies on August first in San Diego. The U.S. tour will end against fierce rivals Liverpool and Columbia on August 3rd, and the friendly will be played at the University of South Carolina's williams Bryce Stadium. United played a total of eight preseason friendlies last summer, and more fixtures could be added to 2024's schedule to ensure the team is prepared for the new campaign. Lindelof, Maguire, Mount and Rashford all represented their countries at Euro 2020 and in normal circumstances, they would be reporting for preseason at a later date. However, Sweden didn't qualify for this summer's tournament. Maguire withdrew from the England squad with an injury while Mount and Rashford weren't picked on form. Rashford's path to play for England again is clear. He has been a key player in recent years, but Mount has a tougher challenge on his plate to feature for the three Lions again. Nonetheless, those players' absences from Euro 2024 are good news for United fans who intend to watch preseason friendlies in Norway and Scotland. Last summer, the first two games of preseason saw Ten Hag play a youthful side and although academy youngsters will be given the opportunity for minutes again, there will be more senior players involved that should give the likes of Rashford and Mount an ideal preparation for improved seasons. There will be no excuses if either continues to disappoint in 2024-25. If you enjoyed the video make sure to smash the like button and make sure to subscribe to Man United Hub to get all the latest updates.